Hello, all you fellow sheet load sketch lovers. It's that time for the April 2022 sheet load of card sketch, and it proves to be a fascinating one. It's very different. It's a mini slimline card, and it's a side folding card, which I have never done a side folding card, actually, at least on camera. And it's I love how she's got the page laid out even. It's it's big. It's easy to see. It makes eight cards. And it uses six by six paper. And she assures us that there's not going to be any scraps after we get through cutting. And here's the cutting guide. And I'm going to be using my New Day six by six paper pad. This is my newest kit from Echo Park. And I have pieces that I'm going to be using. Two sets of matching. I've got big oh, all over flowers and then I've got little pink flowers. I'm going to be making Easter cards. I'm going to be using this stamp here and then I'm going to be embellishing with Easter eggs. I'm going to be using glitter paper and a piece from my Authentic Mermaid collection. I will be cutting my paper off camera, but I will put a timer on myself. It should take about 10 minutes, and I'll be back momentarily. Okay, I'm back. Now, I was thought I was doing really good, a little bit over five minutes, and then when I went to stack these together, I thought, oops, they're not even. So I had to do some cosmetic surgery. That's one reason why I don't cut on camera. <laughs> These went really quickly. So let's go ahead and start with the stamping first. Ten minutes. Here we go. Okay, let's do Rococo Rose. No, let's do purple because I already have purple there. This is Perfect Plum by Stampin' Up. Because I'm going to put the embellishments on one side, I want to put this over on this side. Whoops. No, that wasn't very good, was it? So this is number five. Okay. Six. I cut a lot of extras of these. Thank goodness. Seven. Eight. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. 
Okay, we are score it at six and a half from the right. Okay, six and a quarter from the right would just be four and three quarters over here. So I'm gonna start over here. Four and three quarters would be right here. Okay. Four and three quarters. I tried that earlier to try to do that six and a quarter from the right and I was just having too hard of a time. So I decided to measure it this way. This is a Martha Stewart mini scoreboard, by the way. I got it on Amazon. Let's fold these and get them ready for the pattern paper. Exactly right. Let's even that out a little bit. There we go. I just had to adjust it a little bit. Okay, we're done with those. All right. Let's get started on gluing our paper. It's a beautiful pattern here. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put this piece here a little bit too long. So I will have to trim that. It's not going to have a border around it, but that's all right. How cute, how cute is that? I had my glue handier than my snail today. So that is what I decided to do with this glue. Okay. 
Perfect. Oops, almost time. Got a good start, I think. I will put the link to Alicia's video to get this sheet load in the description box below. took me about, like I said, between seven and eight minutes to not only cut, but correct my cuts on all the pattern paper and cardstock. And we managed to get all the front sentiment pieces stamped. We will finish putting the pattern paper on as well as die cutting our Easter eggs. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.